Environmental Protection Agency has identified flooding, droughts and water scarcity as major issues associated with climate change in communities across Ghana and affecting livelihoods. The agency is thus calling on various authorities and relevant stakeholders to come up with adaptive strategies to mitigate the effects of this menace. City News' Doris Lonta reports. Unpredicted rainfall patterns, droughts, water scarcity, flooding and extreme temperatures, among other phenomena, are current experiences resulting from climate change. Research has shown that there was a drastic reduction in rainfall in all six ecological zones in Ghana in the year 2020. Researchers have also predicted that if no intervention is made to address climate change by 2050, there will be a 6.7 reduction in rainfall for the Sudan savanna zone a 7.8% reduction in the Guinea savanna zone, an 8.8% reduction in the transitional zone, a 10.9% reduction in the deciduous forest zone, a 12.1% reduction in the rainforest zone, and a 12.3% reduction in the coastal savanna zone. While authorities attribute these effects to human activities, there is an urgent need for adaptation strategies to prevent the exacerbation of these issues and to a larger extent, prevent loss of life. The Ashanti Regional Director of the Environmental Protection Agency, Dr. Jackson Nyantechi, spoke with City News, highlighting some adaptation measures. The research shows that uh, some human activities, such as uh, bad farming practices, illegal lumbering, that leads to reduction in the land cover, and then illegal mining, is all these activities are uh, leading to reduction in the land cover. So all these things are contributing to the change in the climate. And you and I know that we are all experiencing the effects. And I'm saying that the impact of climate is so catastrophic that something must be done about this to arrest and to keep the menace. So the question is, what are we supposed to do? We have no control over it. The only intervention available now is try to plant trees to replace the ones that we have felled. And uh, thank God the, place, uh, the president has come out with this flagship project of a uh, Green Ghana Ghana project, where about uh, 10 billion or million ceilings will be planted for this year. You know, we plant the trees in there. The trees will serve as windbreak. That will prevent the, uh, our houses from being ripped off. The trees will also sequestrate the carbon for us so that they will not go out there in, into the atmosphere to create the menace that we are talking about. The director also called for collaborative efforts in mitigating climate change. When we talk about climate change uh, mitigation, it starts from you and for, from everybody. So it is a collective responsibility. I think we should all get ourselves involved if we want to address climate change. Uh, you know, the change as I've already mentioned, we are all experiencing it. The stormy weather that we have, the erratic rainfall patterns, it's a threat to agriculture and we need to do something about it. The project coordinator for the National Adaptation Planning Process, who is also the director in charge of climate vulnerability and adaptation, Dr. Ntribu Siako Amwa, laments the lack of funds and enforcement of laws as Ghana's problem in combating climate change. For the policies we already have, all of them, even the medium-term plan that they develop every four years has every thematic area that will provide them that kind of shit. There are two main problems. The fact that we are irresponsible as a country and it cuts across almost all sectors. So that is one. Secondly, we always lack the needed financing to be able to, what, to do maybe projects that are resilient because the kind of projects that Japan, Germany, France are putting up, we cannot do those things because maybe of the financial cost. However, there are certain things that we can do on, your, on our own that does not need money. And that is what? Train of garbage, uh, garbages around, defecating around, doing things that are providing environmental devastation. Those things, we are the ones causing them. You don't need a policy to be able to do that. The policies are there. I think the enforcement aspect is what we need at this time. These remarks were made during a training and experience sharing session 
on climate change adaptation strategies with stakeholders from different district assemblies across the country. The Environmental Protection Agency and other stakeholders are calling for a collaborative effort in combating climate change and its effects. Reporting for City News, I'm Doris Lonta for Monsieur Ashanti Region.